So this is the water jet, and so the high pressure water comes down and eventually comes into here, goes through, and then comes down here. Uh, we have what they call an orifice, which is a very small hole, about 0.3 millimeters there, and that comes through that hole. And it's coming at supersonic speeds, it's about 200 miles an hour, no, 2,000 miles an hour. It goes into the nozzle and comes out, but in the meantime, if we want to, to get better cutting, we have what they call abrasive, and it's this garnet, and it gets fed down this tube by vacuum. There's a suction coming through here, and it comes out together, and it gives you a cut. And we can use it with and without abrasive, depending on what we're doing. You can see here, it does some cutting. Um, this is the bit after it's cut, so it still cuts whatever's behind it as well. So we've got to be very careful. So what we're trying to do here is cut some titanium. And titanium is always interesting when it gets cut because it always gives off some spark, so that's quite fun. Um, it doesn't get very hot, but at just the instant it gets cut, it does spark. So um, aluminium doesn't. This titanium is the only thing we really cut that does spark. This is our display board, so uh, this is the most uh, interesting piece. This is uh, the Easter eggs for Thorntons, and we cut this uh, um, strip out for them. This stuff's called Lexan. It's polycarbonate, and it's quite difficult. You can't cut it with a laser because it just chars and things, so the wash jet was pretty good on doing that. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It's, um, this is a window from a composite fuselage, a Hawker Beechcraft aircraft. Um, composite fuselages are the state of the art. Um, Boeing's making a composite aircraft, but the fuselage is always um, uh, difficult to, to construct, and so people don't really like using composite. Anyway, this is it. And it's cut out using a water jet. They pre drill the hole and then they cut it out. And uh, this is a Nomex core, and there's uh, you can see there's some shiny bits in here, that's metal, and that's for lightning strike. And if you run your finger along here, you'll actually feel it's a bit... Uh, you can feel the filaments of the wire that's in there for the lightning strike. Anyway, uh, they gave me this and I went and cut one of these for, the, for them, and that's a pretty neat bit of cutting in composite uh, with a water jet, so... Very pretty as well, so... We can see the thumb tail back, so it means that the water is going in at the top and then coming back out very slightly uh, lagging between when it goes in and comes out. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I took this home to my dad and my dad said, you're not telling me water did that. And I said, well, well this case, you know, water and a bit of uh, abrasive cut that one. So that's aluminium, that's nickel, that's titanium. It doesn't really matter which, what you're trying to cut. And here we've got some other harder things. Uh, they have things with titanium carbide in it and aluminium oxide in it. They're very difficult to cut and the water jet just goes straight through them without any problem. So, so tell me how that was cut? Uh, this was cut with the water jet. So, but with abrasive, we put abrasive in there, not pure water. So. Mm -hmm. And quite often you get uh, what they call, this is a titanium and that's the surface finish. It's a very flat surface finish. Whereas if you go faster, it will cut quicker, but you get what they call striation. So, and again, that's pretty, pretty good. It took less than 15 minutes to cut that. So um, sometimes you don't want that quality. You want to go slower to get better surface quality, but that's still pretty good for that thickness. It's cut this way. because it was going... I'm not sure because it's clogged today on seats. Yeah, well, it seemed to wash the whole uh, building actually. Um, the grip line got clogged. Um, sometimes if there's not enough uh, vacuum here and there's too much flow rate, then it gets clogged. But we think it feels a bit wet, so somehow water might have got in the line. It's just not sure. So we're not sure whether the setting's too high for the flow rate or whether it's getting water in. So we decided to alter the experiment and use the flow rate of four. So that will eliminate 
if it's the water clogging it, then we'll know because that's a very low flow rate. So. The disadvantage is it won't cut so much. Well, I think the other thing, were we going faster? I think we're going faster. So because we're going faster, it wasn't actually cutting. So when it wasn't cutting, you can see it there, just it reflects back. So.